Hello my friends, I'm here today doing another unboxing video for Cat Scrappiness. This is based on their newest release, and I'm starting out with their glitter papers. First is a gold and the other is a silver, and these come with um, several shades of glitter paper. This is the gold glitter paper, and you notice it started from the darkest, and I think there's four of each, and they get lighter, and there are, looks like, six different shades. There we go, that's the lightest. And the same with the silver. I'll start with the darkest, which is almost black, and it gets lighter, then lighter, and that's almost white. Very bright. The paper is very thick, good quality, and it doesn't say how thick it is, but um, the great thing about this glitter paper is it's very smooth. It's not actually glitter paper. It's actually printed paper that they printed the little sparkles on. So it goes through a die cutting machine like butter, and you don't have the sprinkly glitters all over the place, but you still get the look of glitter. So this is a great product by Cat Scrappiness. Next, we have a bunch of stencils. I'm going to start out with the, this is the layered pumpkin spice stencil, and there's three different layers. Let's see, let me set this stuff aside so that you can see the layers. See, there's pumpkins, and you know, this one's upside down. Pies, little leafy branches. Here's the bottom of the pie tin, uh, more leaves, pie slices, pumpkins, and let me show you. Here is an example of this stencil, stenciled. <laughs> Have a, I got a little bit of brown on my pie there, so a little burnt crust pie and a little bit of green crust pie over here, but super adorable set and for super reasonable price. Um, what I wanted to let you know is right now Cat Scrappiness is having a Black Friday sale, and I believe everything in the store is 20% off and... That includes products that are not cat scrappiness products. Here is the next stencil, which is layered candy corn. And these are the different layers. And here's an example of that stencil stenciled, or those stencils stenciled. <laughs> and I'll set that one aside. My paper is not cooperating. Here's a single layer stencil. This is the Christmas sweater. And I've gone ahead and I masked off each of the sections and stenciled them with different colors. So you have the elk and then this little design here and these designs look like snowflakes. So really adorable stencil. And this is part of the kit for the, uh, what do you call it? They're doing a, gosh, the word escapes me at the moment, a summit, I believe they call it. Um, here's the next stencil. This is called a Nordic sweater. And here is my example. Don't mind this here. I was doing a little practicing. I was uh, going over it with the woodless Tim Holtz Woodless Distress Crayon, not crayons, Woodless Watercolor Pencils. And it didn't want to, uh, the paper that I'm using didn't cooperate, so I didn't finish that out. But it's a really cute stencil, very Christmas sweatery. Next is another single layer stencil. This is the Candy Canes. And here's the example of the Candy Cane stencil. So you can just do this on white paper. And since it's only one layer, you can do it on red paper and add white pigment ink or do it on white paper and add red ink. So I chose, I opted for the latter, the red ink. Next is one of my favorites. This is the layered Santa hats. And here's the bottom layer, here's the top layer. And here's an example. What I did with this one was I used red for the hat part and then I used a little lost shadow um, distress ink for the areas that are white or should appear white. So they have a little bit of shading, if you can tell in the video. Yep, you should be able to recognize that. Cute stencil, really cute background. Really like that one. And then finally, we have the layered winter foliage. And here we have the leafy branches. Here's berries and branches. I think those might be berries at the end. They might be blossoms, I'm not quite sure. And another leafy branches. I thought these look like wheat to me. So when I uh, stenciled this, I did those in a light yellow. I think I used antique linen distress ink for that. So super cute stencils, stencil sets. I think these, the regular price is $12.99. So 20% off of that would be about $2.60 off, so just around $10. The next product is a die. It's called Fall Garland Wreath. And here we have the wreath, the base of the wreath. Then you can cut out lots of berries and the different leaves to layer on top of the different sections of the, of the wreath. Very creative idea. I like that. The next die set I have is Layered Christmas Bobble. And here we have some candy canes that you layer on top of these solid canes. Uh, some... These are some holly and berries, stars, and we have these little candies that layer on top of the bases, or you can layer them onto the baubles, the little Christmas ornaments. Really cute, fun set. Would work really nice with the uh, fall garland wreath. 
And next we have, this is layered Christmas ornaments. And so there's one solid layer. And then um, here we have the uh, different Christmas ornaments that will have, so you can change the color of the base and these cutouts will show the base color and then you can layer an, another color on top of that. Then you have the little hangy string thingy and the ornament topper. Super cute set. Here's one of my favorites. This is the Grinch hand. So it has the Grinch hand and it holds uh, the layers. This is the sleeve and then the little poofy that goes around by the wrist of the sleeve. Then you can uh, hang an ornament. I wonder if these ornaments, they look approximately the same size. So I'm sure you could layer one of these uh, layered Christmas ornaments on top of the Grinch ornament. Here we have the base of the ornament and then the little hanger topper. And that one, super fun ornament, or super fun die set. Okay, what do we have next? Next we have, this is wood and Christmas bell. And the way that this works, this is a multiple layers for the bell. That's upside down. So this layer would go on top of the base layer and then, or yeah, I think that's the way it would work. And then this layer would go on top of here. Here is the little ringer dinger. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I, I even looked it up before this. Um, this is supposed to be like a wood slice and these bumps here are like the bark. And here is like the rings, um, in the wood slice and you put, this would be a layer. The largest piece would be the base. The second, um, the circle would be underneath this layer here. So you could do like a dark base and then a medium color from this here and then a lighter color for what will show through this. I hope I'm making sense. Then we have the layered bow and the leafy branches. If you go to Cat Scrappiness uh, store, she has a card example that is just adorable with this die set. I recommend you checking that out. Next we have the Christmas in a bottle shaker. So this would be the shaker bottle and here would be the cork and here is your base. Um, a couple of Christmas trees, a buck and a snowbank. And you could do that either standing up and just cut the ends of the snowbank off that exceed the the bottle <laughs> or uh, do it laying down and then it fills up, the snowbank fills up this part of the bottle. I hope I'm making sense. Okay, next. Okay, this one's a fun one. Here is the Christmas lantern shaker. Now I plan to make Christmas tags with this and these are all just different layers for the shakers. Here's some pine branches and the flames. Here's the, hol the holder so you can layer another color there, a bow. Uh, here's the base and he this is the, uh, the flat portion. So that's the part where on the back I will put the two and the from and hang that on my gifts. So that is a fun shaker set. Can't wait to make that one. And whoops, this one's still inside the package. Let's see if we can do this without getting any glare here. This one is called Festive Christmas Arrangement. And this is another one that's part of the kit for the summit. And here we have some holly leaves, a berry branch, pine branches, some berries, the layer for the this would be the base layer for the bow, and this would be the top layer of the bow. This one would go in the middle. We have a pine cone, and that looks like that's about it. This will be, you could make a wreath with these pine branches. I like that they have them bending in the opposite direction so that they're not all going in the same direction. Very thoughtful when they created that that way. And finally, we have the up on the rooftop. And this is a rooftop die set, and I actually made a card with this die set. So I don't know if you can see this the shine that I splattered some of. I took my aqua shimmer pen and a, an acrylic block and I flinked it over the edge of the acrylic block and it splattered all kinds of shimmer all over the rooftop. I also used the acrylic structure gel crystal pearl shimmer ice um, on the snow that's uh, dripping from the from the uh, chimney and the rooftop. So here are the different layers. This is a layer for the Santa for his feet. Oops, can't see that. Let's see if we can get this all into frame here. So the Santa's legs are here and this is his pants. Over here we have his boots and these are the little white portions of the of his pants. We have the string of lights that there's also a piece to cut the individual bulbs and then here's the snow that goes across the top of the roof and here's the snow that goes across the chimney. Here's the layer for the chimney. And here's a window if you wanted to use this die. I didn't choose to on my roof, but you could do like a attic window here or here, wherever you choose and use this window for that. And I think that's about it. So I did want to show you the inside of my card. I think it's so cute. So here it says, 
tis, let's see if we can get it, tis the season to be dot dot dot, and I embossed that with silver embossing powder, and it says naughty, and you're so getting cold, and this cute little gnome Santa. I wanted to show you the sets. These are um, older sets from Cat Scrappiness. Let's see if I can get this out here. This is the Christmas gnome, and it has the gnome with the candy cane, a gnome with the coffee or the cocoa sitting on a gift, and the different sentiments, and the gnome with the light tangled in the Christmas lights, and this is a great snarky little uh, sentiment set, and it's called Naughty, and there's also a Naughty die that you can cut the word Naughty. Uh, I chose to stamp it instead. Um, here it says, "'Tis the season to be naughty and bah humbug. I tried. Dear Santa, last year I asked for a fat wallet and a thin body. Try not to mix those up again." Here it says, "'Adjective. One, disobedient. Badly behaved. Two, mildly rude or indecent. It's the season, or it's the holiday season. Eat whatever you want. What the elf? And it's naughty is the new nice. You're so getting cold. That's what I used on the inside of my card. Santa define naughty. Got cookies and save the big guy a trip. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you stop by and check out the Cat Scrappiness Black Friday sale. Until next time, bye for now. Enjoy your turkey day.